Now let's take a look at problem number 25. In problem 25, we'd like to find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to secant inverse of ln of x. All right, so um, first of all, let's come back over here and remind ourselves, what if y is equal to secant inverse of just x? Then what is the derivative of y? The derivative of y would be y is equal to 1 over absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1. So the derivative of secant inverse of x is 1 over square root, I'm sorry, absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, so that's our derivative of secant inverse of x. Uh, so if I have secant inverse of something, then it would be 1 over that something's absolute value times the square root of something squared minus 1. And in this case, our something is ln of x. Okay, so if I want to find f prime of x in this case, then it's going to be 1 over the absolute value of the something. And in this case, my something is ln of x. So ln of x goes in here. Times the square root of ln of x squared, or of x squared. In this case, my x is ln of x, minus 1. And so I've done everything I need to do according to my formula for the derivative of secant inverse of x. I put an ln of x in everywhere where I had an x, but there's one more thing I have to do by the chain rule. I need to multiply by the derivative of ln of x. But the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So the derivative of secant inverse of ln of x would be 1 over absolute value of ln of x times the square root of ln of x squared minus 1, all of that times 1 over x. And that's my derivative. And we're done.